only guy in the damn company bigger than me my first month on TV. <laughs> Dude, how how did you feel about this tethering gimmick? <laughs> I thought it was money. Are you kidding me? You didn't think that was money, Renee? <laughs> <laughs> no, I... And it's funny, Renee, because I never... I, I know Vince did not know I stuttered in real life. Um, but... When I was a child, yeah, I had a speech impediment problem, but I never told them that. I never told the soul that. In fact, I've never told anybody that publicly until about a few years ago, honestly. So I know they didn't, Vince did not come up with this on his own accord just to screw around. Some people will be like, oh, yeah, they just did that to rib you. And I was like, they did, they did, but that's a waste of time, a waste of money. Most importantly, Vince, if he gets behind an idea, you think it's going to go somewhere, usually. And this was at a time, Renee, where the only other idea he had come up with on his own was the Carlito Caribbean cool thing uh, for Carlito. He wasn't somebody who was like coming up with own, his own ideas for a character all by himself and then is behind the camera for every one of those, that wrestler's promos. And he was doing that with me. And I'll never forget this. When he pitched it to me in his office, and this is, now remember, I've been sent back down to OVW. I've been there for a while. Renee, they had me in a mask. It was really, anyways. Right. So he, he could have told me, we want you to do this. I would have done it. It wouldn't have mattered because I was trained. You know, you want to throw a pink jock strap on my face and call me the master marauder? I'm in. I'm over prepared. That's how we were trained. That's how I was trained. Yeah. yeah. So if Vince comes up with it, you like to think it'll have legs. And he, when he did sell it to me, though, Renee, he did say, I swear as God is my witness, you know, that he always wanted to put this on this this character on somebody, but you know he thought Brock wasn't comfortable enough within his own skin to pull it off. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, oh, like years now later, I'm like, you really could have had the next big stutterer instead of Brock Lesnar. <laughs> <laughs> like, can you imagine? Like that you would like? Can you imagine if he did that to him? But uh, anyway, that's that. That's how he pitched it to me. And I remember he had seen her come in there, and uh, I didn't want to. I did not want to go back down to Louisville at the time, not because I didn't think I needed more seasoning, but because my dumbass thought this is Vince pushing something. So if he's interested into something, then it's going to go somewhere big, and I need to take advantage of this while he's still paying attention to me, kind of a thing. Right. Right. But. Right.